So in this problem, we're uh, given a description of a dinosaur. We're told the height of its head and its heart from the ground, uh, and, and the density of its blood. And we want to find the, the blood pressure required at its heart, so that it has 80 tors of blood pressure at its brain. Specifically, we're asked to find uh, the gauge pressure, meaning the pressure entirely due to the blood and the fluids inside. Now, this might confuse some people, because when we talk about gauge pressure, and especially when we talk about gauge pressure due to something being at a depth in water, often the formula we're told to use is this formula right here, where uh, the pressure is equal to the density of the fluid times G times the depth in the fluid. So that might be the formula that one may be tempted to use. But I think what most people, or I think what some people don't quite understand about this formula is that this formula is, even though this formula is often used for gauge pressure, really what this actually refers to is a pressure difference between two points in a fluid uh, due to a depth or a change in height. And for most practical cases, yeah, that'll work if we're talking about uh, the pressure something's feeling if it's uh, deep underwater, the pressure specifically from the water. But in a case like this, where we want the pressure at a point in the fluid, and it has other fluid weighing down above it, and we know there's going to be some pressure at the top, specifically, we already have the pressure that we know is going to be at the brain here, then instead we'll actually want to use the more general form of this equation. And the more general form of that equation is this right here, where uh, the pressure that something is feeling, the, the pressure at a point due to a depth in a fluid, is equal to uh, the pressure difference that I mentioned earlier, plus the pressure that is felt at the top of that point due to uh, some other factors. Like once again, in this case, the fact that we already know we want the pressure at the brain to be 80 tor. So we're actually going to be using this more general formula to find uh, the pressure at the heart of this dinosaur. So in the case of part A, we want the pressure at the heart, and that's going to be equal to the pressure at the brain, at the top of the dinosaur, plus the pressure difference due to the, the, the depth, the height difference, between the heart and the head. So we should, we'll be using formulas that correspond to this data. So for part A, we want to use uh, the pressure at the brain, 80 tors, for uh, P sub brain. And then for the pressure difference, we'll want to use uh, the density of blood, 1.06 times 10 to the third power of kilograms per cubic meter for the density, 9.8 meters per second squared for G, and for H, for the depth, we'll want to use the difference in height between the head and the heart. So in this case, we know that the head height from the ground is 21 meters, and uh, the heart height from the ground is 9 meters. So H will be the difference between them. So H will be 21 meters minus 9 meters, which is going to be 12 meters. And so that's the H we'll use for part A. And doing this, plugging this into our formula, and then uh, and make sure, by the way, that you convert from uh, Pascal's into Tor for the second term, because the pressure we're given for the brain is in Tor. But remember that this pressure difference formula, assuming we're working in SI units, is actually the pressure in Pascal's. So make sure you convert that term into tors using the conversion rate that one tor is equal to uh, 133.33 pascals. And plugging all of this information into our formula for part A, and we find a pressure at the heart of about 1.0 times 10 to the third power of tors. For part B, we want to find the pressure of the blood at the feet. Now, we'll be using basically the exact same logic and even almost the same formula that we used in the previous part, except our depth value will be a little different. 
because now the pressure difference between the head and the feet is, well, just the head's uh, height from the ground. So I have, I have by the way, I've drawn a little uh, apostrophe, a little prime over the H to indicate that we're dealing with uh, a different height value. This time we'll be using 21 meters, since it's just the height to the head. And, uh, and again, it's pretty much the same formula. So we'll use 80 tor for the brain, uh, the same density, the same G, and make sure to convert from Pascal's into tor for the second term here. And we'll get a pressure at the feet of about 1.7 times 10 to the power of 3 tors. So that's how you find the hydrostatic pressure at an internal, in an internal system, assuming we already know what we want the pressure to be at some higher point.